What's up guys, Ru here and welcome back to the channel. It comes to no surprise that techwear is a really expensive style to get into. True techwear pieces that consist of style, construction and performance is going to cost you an arm and a leg and probably every single body part that you own. But there's no denying you are getting the very best when it comes to construction material and overall quality. In fact, one can argue that besides the fact that you're paying so much for the craftsmanship behind these pieces, all the materials that are used are really expensive to begin with. With top techwear brands such as Y3, Stone Island Shadow Project, and how can we not mention acronym, being so expensive and exclusive, it creates a demand for cheaper alternatives. However, depending on where you get these cheaper pieces, a lot of times you are going to have to sacrifice one thing or the other. I would say in most cases, you are likely to have to give up on the performance aspect on a piece as most likely it's constructed with either just regular cotton or with any other non-performance fabric, which is not to say a bad thing, but if you're looking for performance, this just might not make the cut. Some more notable affordable techwear brands are Riot Division, Nike's ACG line, and Rain Delusion, which I would say is one of the more up and coming affordable techwear brands. However, I'm using the term affordable really loosely here because at the end of the day, they are still really expensive. They are just considered to be more affordable as to compare to the top techwear brands as mentioned above. That's why in today's video, I'm reviewing this, the Unico Block Tech Porica, which I think is the perfect starting piece if you're wanting to dwell into the style of techwear. To start things off, this jacket is crazy affordable. It retails at $80, and you can always find it for cheaper during the sales period. If you're looking from a price to performance standpoint, I honestly don't think you can find anything as good as this. Do let me know down in the comment section below if you know any jackets that has the same functionality that are better and cheaper. I really would love to know. The next reason as to why I think this is a perfect techwear piece for starters is because of how accessible it is, as it's made by Uniqlo. Hence, you can literally walk into any Uniqlo store or even their online site and pick one up. I think it's always a good thing to have introductory pieces to be easily accessible. When it comes to sizing, I would say it depends on how you intend to use it. If you're going to be using it during winter conditions, then I would say size up so that you can lay your more clothes underneath. But if you're just going to use it for rainy days, then I would just stick to a regular fit. Something to note is that Unico sizes are more catered towards the Asian body size. Therefore, it's just something to consider. The best is to always try it in store if it's possible. Personally, for me, I just went for an XL so that it can be a more versatile piece in my wardrobe. As a functional wear, this jacket does not come with much bells and whistles, but it has all the essentials that one might need from a jacket like this. Firstly, let's address what is this block tech technology from Uniqlo. I would say it's basically Uniqlo's answer to the Gore-Tex material as it's a type of fabric technology that Uniqlo came up with that allows your fabric to be water repellent and windproof. Now, according to Uniqlo's website, as to how to achieve it is on top of having the fabric to be DWR treated, they also incorporated a seamless bonding technology that allows a stitch-free construction on their garments, which keep air and water from seeping in between seams. This is apparently a traditional weak point in classic winter and spring outerwears. The fabric is also fitted with a protective laminate film that is designed to block wind. During my usage of it, I did not encounter any problems with the jacket as it's able to keep me protected from various elements such as snow, rain, and wind. To be honest, I've not had the chance to own any Gore-Tex jackets, therefore I'm unable to compare both materials together. However, I would say that for quality-wise, it's really not bad. There's no signs of loose stitching and the main zipper is made by YKK. So overall, it's constructed really nicely and uses pretty decent materials. The only slight worry that I have is just how long-lasting the DWR coating will be. One of the best features of this jacket has to be the high collar design. It does serve a functional purpose which is to protect our neck from rain and wind, but also as a style element that is really sought after in techwear jackets. It kind of has this identity concealing urban ninja look towards it, and I think the aesthetic of it is pretty cool. For a jacket at such price point, it's really awesome to see it having this type of design. Moving down towards the sleeves, it has adjustable straps to help seal the jacket up when needed, but I think it also transformed the look of the jacket from a more flowy design to a futuristic military look. There's also two side pockets in the front of the jacket, but the zippers are not waterproof, so just make sure you're aware of that. There's something about this jacket that is so simple, yet being able to provide such versatility when it comes to styling. You could go for a classic look and rock it by itself, or start layering to give it a more technical look by adding accessories such as chest rigs, messenger bags, bomber jackets, and whatever else you like. 
that's all I have to say for this jacket. Do let me know what are your thoughts on it. And if you own one yourself, let me know how is it holding up for you. Leave it all down in the comment section below and we'll have a small little discussion. Thank you all so much for checking out today's video. Hit the like button if you did enjoy it. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as big things are coming. Till then guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Oh,